Finally tonight, we bring you what may be a very narrow glimpse of the future. It's small, it's electric, and it comes in any colour you like. It may also revolutionise our sense of how we get about town. Now, some cities own bikes. You drive into town or use public transport, rent a bike for an hour or two, then leave it behind and head out again by car or bus. Sounds pretty sensible. Not great in the rain and not great if you're dressed up. So what, say, a really tiny car could do something similar in the inner city? Anna Burns Francis takes that very possibility for a test drive. Blink and you'll miss it. It might not look like your average motor vehicle. But this is the car of the future. The Tango T600. It's electric. Do you trust me to be the driver, Rick? That's probably the main oh, question. Oh, I do indeed. <laughs> it's easy to drive slower, fast. Hopefully you'll drive it fast. Hopefully I'll drive And I was told it's fast. Just how Maybe. fast? We're going to floor it. OK. Whoa! Whoa! This car goes from Whoa! 0 to 100 in 3 seconds flat. Was that flooring it? I don't think so. That wasn't flooring it? Okay. If you find that surprising, you're possibly struggling to get your head around the shape as well. Oh yes, it's very narrow, isn't it? Yes, the Tango is a very narrow car. Really, traffic flow has to do with the size of the car and the density, and it's proven by the fact that if you ever watch a pack of motorcycles going down the road, they're way over double the density of cars. And this is the size of a motorcycle. In fact, it's uh, three and a half inches narrower than the police motorbikes here in Auckland. The Tango is a commuter car. It's not meant to replace your family car. Green, go green, go green. Yes! but instead be a Monday to Friday alternative for travelling through Auckland's traffic jams. It's the brainchild of American inventor Rick Woodbury. There's a door on this side and there's a door on the other side. Why are there two well, doors? Well, you can park it up next to a wall. You can get He's been working side. on the design since 1982. I mean, we put in a nice stereo system and has air conditioning and heat and everything like you'd want in a regular car. Rick and the Tango car were invited to New Zealand by one very fed-up commuter, Toa Greening. I was a little bit frustrated uh, when they opened up the South Western Motorway link at Manukau. It added a 30 minute commute to get home. So I decided that, oh well this is ridiculous that you'd spend hundred million dollars and not solve anything. So I thought there had to be a better way. Tor is planning to pitch to the Auckland Council a new car sharing scheme. Put 15,000 tangos out for commuters to lease, instantly reducing the amount of space traffic takes up. We would work out what the price point would be for people to get out of their big full-size vehicles that basically hauling air and to get into these smaller vehicles. Because in Auckland, when it rains, the car suddenly seems a very attractive option. But these cars come at a cost. This one, more than $200,000. But Tor says mass produce, that number will come down to just $29,000. And this scheme would pay for itself. Our very, very high level analysis of it shows that we could potentially um, make it cost neutral for both central and local government, so that's what we're setting the goal for. There's no single solution to solving Auckland's traffic woes. This isn't about taking money from public transit, it's about finding options that suit a range of people. So we thought we'd better test how popular this car might be. It's really a hoot, and it gets more smiles than anything. My wife loves riding around. We call it tangoing because when you're sitting in the back seat, you're just checking out, everybody's giving you thumbs up and smiles and everything. Wow. Hello. Nice car, right? <laughs> Thank you. And then... And it's on, and you can't hear a thing. Instead of solving a traffic jam, we seem to be creating one. Everywhere we went. This is the cutest car. Oh, it's a two-seater. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it's being squashed. You can put your arms on both windows there. <laughs> so funny. Sold. That is so cool. And don't let looks fool you. Rick, who's clearly a believer, claims it's the safest car on the road. We have a full NASCAR type roll cage. We have literally four times more steel in the door than a Mercedes or any of the big SUVs. Um, we've got this full 200 mile an hour rated 
crash protection system in it. And we also have four-point harnesses, which are actually the exact same harnesses used in a jet's pilot seat. We care about safety more than anything in the world. The tango's already picked up a cult celebrity following. Here's Jay Leno taking one for a test drive. And the passengers behind you, so if you have one of those passengers that's talking all the time, oh, they're back there, it's not your problem. George Clooney bought this one. And the one we're driving actually belongs to Google's Sergey Brin. He's got a couple. I think what I'm supposed to be for his wife eventually, but uh, I'm still borrowing it. He won't be getting it back anytime soon. It's fun, it handles quick, it's the most fun car you can drive. The car will be taken to council next week, and Tor Greening's hoping councillors will jump at their solution to the city's traffic woes. Because, as we all know, it takes two to tango. Anna Burns Francis, that story was shot by John Fleming and edited by Sarah Rowan. That's it for tonight. Thanks everybody for watching. We do appreciate your company. Ka kite anō and a very good evening indeed.